How's my hole there, neighbor Unos? So first things first, I've got to put out a quick correction about a video I put out yesterday for the HTC Vive Cosmos resolution. It has been released today that the resolution on the upcoming headset is going to be 1440 by 1700 for eye, as opposed to the 1600 that I mentioned yesterday. Something that I am very excited about and thankful that I am wrong about. So just want to put that out there real quick. Now what I'll be talking about today includes a few things, including what we can expect out of the Oculus Connect conference later this year, what Jason Rubin of Oculus sees for the future of the company following the launch of the Quest and the Rift S, a Halo virtual reality location-based event, and finally, when the first batch of Valve headsets is going to be arriving. First things first, the Oculus Connect Developer Conference is going to happen on the 25th and 26th of September at the San Jose McEnroy Convention Center in San Jose, California. At this conference, we should be able to see quite a bit of de developers coming out for the Oculus systems and all of the systems that they plan on working on in the near future, such as video streaming something that I'll be touching on in the next portion of this video. At E3, VentureBeat had a quick interview with Jason Rubin of Oculus, and there were a few key questions they touched on during this interview, the full transcript of which you can find in the description down below. The first one is, what are they going for? What, what's moving them forward? What are, they, what are their end goals? And Ruben's response was more software. They already have the 50 at launch. He's aiming for 50 more by the end of the year. Another one was what about streaming? Is it possible to stream from the Quest? While that is something that it seems like they really want, how, how far away is streaming from the Quest? And his response was, that is something that they want, that Oculus wants, but as far as when it'll be ready, he doesn't know at this time. He'd have to talk to the engineering teams. And then the, one of the final big questions that he touches on is, does 5G really make that much of a difference as far as the Quest is concerned? And for the Quest in particular, Yes, or the, for the Quest in particular, 5G does not really matter. But for virtual reality, yes. In, in the future, 5G is good for VR. Like I said, those were the key questions that he touched on, and the full transcript of which, as well as a lot of the questions that I didn't cover, you can find in the description down below. If you and your friends are either Halo Mega fans or you just can't wait to play Halo Infinite for yourself, well congratulations, there is a Halo themed, well, theme park coming out to a few select cities around the US this summer. The whole purpose of it is to bring fans closer to the world of Halo and all that, but as a part of this theme park, there is going to be a virtual reality attraction coming as well. This one is going to be named Outpost Discovery Training Grounds. In it, anyone who plans on participating will be able to be part of a 3, 3v3 multiplayer shooter allowing you for free roaming wireless virtual reality experience wherein you'll be able to shoot a plasma pistol and heal using the shield generator. The whole thing is going to center around something like uh, laser tag or dodgeball. So I'm pretty sure you're used to those, but on the off chance you're not, laser tag you end up shooting people and dodgeball, well, you dodgeball. If you were lucky enough to be part of the first wave of pre-orders, you should be receiving your brand new virtual reality systems this Saturday. Any hardware reviews, however, will be released on Friday as new hardware updates are being released and worked on by Steam 
as time progresses. Any new pre-orders, however, will not be released until late September or early October. If you guys are still here, don't forget to check out my next video when I'll be going over a small rumor that suggests that the Xbox Scarlet just may support the Oculus Rift S. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.